Minister of Finance painting a picture of the country's economy in Parliament today. Good evening, everyone. I'm LaDawn Davis. Thanks so much for tuning in. Minister of Finance, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Peter Turnquest, explaining the country's economic position in the House of Assembly today. He listed some of the government's fiscal concerns and outlined some of the policies they hope to strengthen. Junior Noel Ferguson leads us off from Parliament tonight. Minister of Finance and MP4 East Grand Bahama, the Honorable Peter Turnquest, speaking to the financial state of the economy while in Parliament Thursday. He admitted that the projected deficit of the country that he submitted during the budget debate earlier this year was wrong. He said in actuality, the deficit of the country is much higher than he could have imagined. As of yesterday, the budgeted or the projected deficit for 2016-17 is six hundred and ninety five million dollars. What? Six hundred and ninety five million dollars. That is the deficit as of yesterday. That's five hundred and ninety five million dollars more than the previous PLP government projected in their 2016 17 budget. Absolutely incredible, Mr. Speaker. You know, and I want to apologize to them. I do want to apologize to them. And to the Bahamian people for underestimating the depth of their fiscal incompetence. He details some of those bills, noting that many of them are still outstanding. There are bills that are still outstanding that we haven't paid, that we cannot pay. We're waiting for the money to pay. Mr. Speaker, just for June alone, that adds up to the 381 million Bahamian dollars. They ran us into a proverbial financial ditch, Mr. Speaker, and then they want to blame us. The finance minister explained that this was why government has been unable to complete some of its promises, including the removal of value-added tax on certain items. But he said there is a silver lining. Then they also have to give us a little bit of credit for the current financial, the current central bank report, which reflects a $9 million surplus in the month of July. Turnquest said while the government was criticized by opposition for talking down the economy, resulting in Moody's revisit of the country's position, that same agency, he said, applauded government for its efforts to get the country's finances back on track. Janaina Wal Ferguson, ZNES Network News.